Hello, everyone. Here we are going to present our project for the deep learning course. Our project is post transfer for person image generation. Post transfer refers to transferring an object into different poses given the object's image and a series of target poses. This is a challenging task because some body parts are not observed in the conditioning image and poses can appear differently under different views. Most existing solutions are not consistent and robust enough, but we found a great paper that achieves good result by using a sequence of post attentional transfer blocks and adopting a new generative adversarial network. Our tasks include re implementing the post scan model proposed by the paper, simplifying the model architecture, and improving the model robustness. The datasets we have used include the Deep Fashion dataset, which contains 8 million fashion images. Market 1501 is another dataset we used that contains images of identities captured by six cameras from six directions. We have faced a lot of challenges. The model converges too slowly, which means high-speed machines are required, but we do not have enough AWS credit. Also, the PostScan network is complicated, and the re-implementation consumed a lot of our time. Besides, our team communication effectiveness was also affected by current situation. Despite the challenges, we deep dive to the post scan model and learned many valuable things. In the beginning, in order to get familiar with this region, we re-implemented the post scan model in PyTorch. The most important part in this model is post attentional transfer block, aka PAT block. It is composed of two parallel ref nets. The first one is to deal with the image code, which is encoded from original images. The second one is to deal with postcode, which is the post key points from our pre-process. These two models work together, and we should train these two models in the meantime. In the process of re-implementation, we found this complex model is extremely hard to train, so we start to make some modifications to the original model. The first step is to simplify the model because given the resources we have, we are unlikely to fully train the original model and get better results. First, the model grows huge if we add more PAD blocks or use high resolution images as inputs. Even if we use low resolution images, it takes us five minutes per epoch and the loss converges quite slowly. The paper said it might need about 700 epochs to finish the training. In the limitation of AWS credit, we have to simplify the model. The basic idea of PostScan is to use progressive post transfer instead of one-time transfer. Instead of using ResNet, we directly use a deterministic algorithm. In our algorithm, we will find the least effort to transfer one post to another. In this way, the model is expected to save a lot of parameters and accelerate its convergence. Thirdly, we also studied the robustness of our model. We have read some papers about the adversary attacks towards deep learning models, so we tried Madrid's defense technique to improve the robustness to our post key point generator. Okay, here is our result. Uh, since we don't have enough time and credit, we only trained it for about 120 approach. The right column is the output of our model, and as you can see, the output is not as good as the expected result in the middle since the model is not fully trained yet. The pose can be learned well, but the outlook of the result is not very realistic. For our simplified model, it can speed up the training by about 30%, but we see that we have to sacrifice some model performance. This is reasonable because the simplified model cannot generate very good intermediate pose and the loop is shown in these two diagrams. The blue one is our simplified model and the red one is the original model. To increase the model robustness, we add some random black mask to the image and keep training with them. We see that after training, it can still give reasonable key points for about 90% of the modified input. In conclusion, we have successfully re-implemented the post scan model. We have also simplified the model architecture with deterministic algorithm to speed up loss convergence by 30%. We have also improved robustness of the model with Madrid's defense technique.